Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given rational equation. Before we get started, let's focus on the denominator on this very first fraction in the denominator. As you can see, this 2 could be easily factored out. So I can write this first fraction as 6 divided by 2 times x minus 2 once we factor out 2. And as far as the second fraction is concerned, we're going to leave it alone. We are not going to mess with that one. x minus 2 equals 2. Now let's focus on this denominator on this side, x squared minus 4. And I have copied it down right up here, x squared minus 4. And let's tweak it a little bit. This could be written as x square minus 4 could be written as 2 square and now this represents the difference of 2 square so therefore I am going to use this fact a square minus b square equals to a minus b times a plus b therefore this could easily be written as x minus 2 times x plus so that's why I'm going to write down 1 over this fraction could be written as x minus 2 times x plus 2. So far so good. And now we can see in this very first fraction 2 and 6 could be reduced to 1 and 6, 3. So this could be written as 3 divided by x minus 2 plus 4. 4, I'm going to just leave everything as it is, minus 2 equals to, same thing, 1 over x minus 2 times x plus 2. Now let's focus on the denominator, x minus 2, this factor x minus 2, and we got another x minus 2 and we got another x minus 2. So we are going to write this one just once. So I'm going to write down just once and then let's look at another factor which is x plus 2. I am going to multiply it x plus 2 as well. Therefore our least common denominator or sometimes we call it least common multiple turns out to be x minus 2 times x plus 2. Now we are going to multiply this least common denominator across the board with this equation. I am going to multiply x minus 2 times x plus 2 with the first fraction. Likewise x minus 2 times x plus 2 and finally x minus 2 times x plus 2 across the board and as you can see that this x minus 2 and this x minus 2 is gone so we are simply left with 3 times x plus 2 plus and now as you can see this x minus 2 is gone with this x minus 2 so we got 4 times x plus 2 equals to on the right hand side we can see that this x minus 2 is gone with this x minus 2 this is x plus 2 is gone with this x plus 2 so we are just left with 1 and now let's go ahead and distribute on this one over here so that is going to give us 3x plus 6 plus likewise we are going to distribute 4 right here so that's going to give us 4x plus 8 equals to 1. Now we are going to combine the like terms 3x plus 4x is going to give us 7x and plus 14 equals to 1. Since we want to solve for x let's move this 14 on the other side 7x turns out to be 1 minus 14 7x equal to negative 13. Let's divide both sides by 7. So x equals to negative 13 over 7 is our 
solution. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to negative 13 over 7 and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.